Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. We're here with another video and we're also here, more importantly, in a new apartment. In case you missed it or in case you're new, welcome. I recently moved now three weeks ago, I wanna say. I'm gonna be doing a lot, a lot of apartment content, but right here, what you're watching right now is my moving vlog. Mostly what this really is, is a packing vlog, packing up my last apartment and doing a bit of the moving because we unpacked really quickly and because we started doing things in the apartment really fast. I have a lot of footage from all that and so I think I'm gonna group that into a separate video. For just a little bit of background on the move, I moved from one apartment in Brooklyn to another apartment in Brooklyn in a neighboring neighborhood. I was living with a roommate who I had lived with for two and a half years, but as our lease was ending and my relationship was entering another phase, I ended up moving in with my partner who actually has been living in this apartment for the last three years. Long story short, we're giving it pretty much the full overhaul just to honestly make the space feel refreshed. It's been really exciting, the apartment is triple the size of my last place. This is a three bedroom that my partner was living here with roommates before, and now the two of us are taking it over. I definitely don't take it for granted. This is the biggest apartment I've lived in in New York, and um, it's incredible, so I'm really excited to show you it and how it comes together. But because this is already a lived-in apartment, for the most part, I won't be able to give you the empty apartment tour sort of thing. That's enough rambling for me. I'm gonna get into the video, and if you wanna see more real-time stuff, follow me on Instagram. I will talk to you guys a few weeks ago, right now. Good morning, it's the week of my move. It's Monday, and look what just arrived. Here they are. I got 30 bins, this is 15 in each stack. I rented them from a company called Bin It, and they gave zip ties and labels to keep all of these closed. This is not an ad, but the guy, we're supposed to get one dolly with the order, and the guy was nice enough to give me two because I said I was doing the move myself and not hiring movers, so thank you. Before I had gotten the bins, I had been thinking about doing it. I almost did it for this apartment. I feel like it's just so much less wasteful. It's also so much less tedious. They drop them off, they pick them up. You're not like putting up together boxes, breaking them down, and then just like getting rid of them or throwing them away. So I felt better and they're sturdier and whatnot. I put out an Instagram story asking people like if they've done that, this and their opinion on it, and so many people replied and said yes and said that they were big fans of it. And so I ended up doing them. I think it was like 1.30 with tax to rent them, which my opinion doesn't seem bad. We'll see how I feel at the end of the move, but right now I'm glad that they're here. They're massive. I'm excited to start packing today because I move in four days. My room is a huge mess and normally this would really stress me out um, and I would have to clean it before really doing anything else. But because my bins are here and because I'm packing this week, I'm going to clean it while I pack. I have this mess of shoes because I sold my entryway rack, open spaces shoe rack. So I'm going to start packing these up. I'm going to put the bins at the end of my bed here, I think, to start. Let's get it going. morning. It's day two of packing. Here's what I did yesterday. There are six of them. Not crazy. Yes, this is a Say PR, Say Beauty PR trunk. <laughs> I'm gonna put like tools and stuff in here. Hi, Junie. Sun princess. I'm gonna do like all of this stuff right now. I got this like honeycomb stuff that you like pull apart instead of bubble wrap. And then if you're familiar with like buy nothing groups, um, Someone in my local one had a ton of packing paper to give away, and so I picked this up like two weeks ago. It's been sitting in my room like this ever since, but this is what I'm gonna use with the other stuff to protect all my glassware. Hopefully this is enough.
plug because this is my best friend's novel that comes out on May 2nd, so make sure you go get it. It's called Homebodies. I've read it. It's incredible and beautiful and really poignant, and you should read it. So, um, that's Homebodies. Okay, it's like 3.45 right now. Um, I'm officially hitting that slump where I'm starting to get tired, and I feel like I've done a lot, and I have done a lot, but I feel like I need to pause for the living room right now because I'm in a pretty good spot. Honestly, there's a lot of stuff that's away. I think right now I'm gonna move on to my clothes and putting the clothes in my dresser into bins. What I'm gonna do too while I'm packing away my stuff is to pack like a little, a little bag of things that I might need comfy clothes i might go to an event on thursday night and so i want to have like something out if i do go and just yeah you know all the things i'll need before i unpack and before i can access my clothes again on friday so like three outfits really quick too i will say that as i'm doing this and as i'm going through my clothes especially i'm finding a lot of things that i should get rid of or give away and whatnot i think for some people maybe this would be a good time to like separate out a giveaway pile and whatever too but i just don't have that in me i think when i'm like unpacking that's what i'll do maybe the unpacking part of this will also be a little decluttering video all clear we are officially on <laughs> Stack number two. I've used 15 bins, 15 more, and I feel like I'm like in pretty good shape. So let's wrap up my closet. This is all that's left of my clothes that need to go in something. Um, everything else is, it's just this, these like sweaters. Everything else is like in these bins under my bed. I do have two suitcases, but I think that they're full. And then this is a bag again that I'm using in case I need clothes or for the clothes that I do need. I think I'm gonna do this closet, either take a break or tackle like these. I keep forgetting too that I have these. So we'll see, we'll see. You are currently sitting in the area above my closet. I'm cruising through my boxes, my bins, and I think up here will probably take at least Two. So I'm gonna tackle this. There's some things I need to get rid of and sell too. I'm like posting a few things on Marketplace to sell to just streamline before I move if I can. I wanna get that stuff out of here and I also don't wanna forget about this area and like be worried about it at the very end. All of this, this is like extra stuff. This entire bag is filled with tote bags. Extra plates that I haven't wanted to use. My spin shoes, June's airport carrier, all of that, all over there. It's another day of me looking like this in the thick of packing. The cat threw up on my rug this morning, which is just perfect timing. He really waited until my last week to give me a good send off. Cleaned that up this morning. I think we're in okay shape and he's okay too, which is the important part. It's just a small little guy. 10 bins left. This is five that are full. Here's my room. It is a disaster. This is how I went to sleep last night. These are what I did from up there, which is what I showed you last night. And I was actually able to get all of my desk drawer stuff completely with this stuff too. The closet is completely empty of clothes. These I'm gonna stretch wrap. I made a list on my phone because I'm neurotic um, of like, how I was going to pack everything else to get like a good idea of what I have. The bins listed out here, other things I need to do, and then the things I'm like stretch wrapping. So I'm getting the vibe it'll be a slower packing day today, which is honestly good. Um, I'm glad I made like a lot of headway yesterday and like really most of it. We're cruising, we're moving, literally. Oh, this woman loves an unconventional surface. She loves an Ikea bag. All right, we've reached the point in this process where I'm breaking out the stretch wrap. I've never used this before, but I've moved before and I feel like I, you see this a lot for protecting furniture and keeping things closed and whatnot. I decided to try it. I bought it. I bought a roll for myself. Very well reviewed with these like handle things on it. So I'm gonna try it and I have some things to close up. These bins that actually have a little bit more room in them so I'm not gonna close them up quite yet. And then I also have that uh, shoe rack. So I'm gonna just cover it in this to keep it closed and make it easier to move. What's on Thursday? Friday. She's right, it's Thursday, which means that I move out tomorrow. In less than 24 hours, I'll be picking up my 
U-Haul and packing all this shit up. These are packed. I have like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bins left. I got a stack in here. Stacks over there, that hasn't changed. I'm working. Someone is being bad under here. What are you doing? What are you eating? I have some meetings coming up, so I'll be taking a break. But after that, I think I'm gonna like dismantle the majority of this. I've got to take this out. This is one of those categories that I feel like you do the last minute because I don't know, I'm like using this stuff still. I'm like, do I take my body wash out? Maybe I just use my travel stuff. I pack all this stuff and use my travel stuff. Okay. All right. We're doing all this. These are all mine. So I'm going to have to take Zelia's really stuff out of these. And then I have stuff in the shower. And, and there are like a few things down there. And that's my shelf. And that's my stuff also. Let's start with these bins. <laughs> many hours later. I got a little sidetracked with work. We're getting back to it. Right now, I am gonna roll this up. The rug. And I was like, I'm so, I'm sad. And she was like, she's moving, not dying. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, Dawn, she, she comes ready with the wisdom. She really does. And I was like, I'm really worried about squid. And she's like, they can FaceTime. And I'm like, mom, it's not the same. This is where we're leaving it for the night. That's really all I have left. And then like these guys I'm carrying by hand. Hi, Junie. All right, I will see you in the morning. Good morning, it's move day. We got furniture pads. We got a truck. Here we all are in U-Haul land. There she is. We have to do like check-in stuff. Here's what we've got so far. This is pretty much everything except for the like furniture like my lamps and stuff we're doing the furniture much later today but this is the majority of my other sh that's it all these bins so i'm sitting here in the truck right now partially packed because i don't have a lock for it which was not very smart but um i packed my only lock i took the day off of work to do this obviously and so did he um but we both had like one meeting to get on so he's upstairs taking that right now because this is like bigger and i had like a casual meeting with my team. So now I'm just sitting here waiting maybe for an hour with all my stuff, which is fine. I spilled my water everywhere. Can't really tell. It's not that cold outside, so it's kind of nice to just sit out here and be outside. And yeah, I want to guard my stuff, protecting my investments. Precious cargo. This will be... Don't hit your head. Oh, oh, oh. hey. We've made it. This is many, many hours later. It's been a really long day. I'm so tired. There's a lot of stuff in here. Hi guys, it's accidentally day two of the move. We meant to do it all yesterday. I ran out of time. We ran out of time with the U-Haul. We ended at like six. And then I had all the furniture left in my room and like my credenza, my big mirror from out there. So I hired people from Lug, L-U-G-G. -G. This is not an ad. They're kind of like on demand, like smaller-ish movers to do this room and they could do it this morning. So I'm just having everything else taken. Just wanted to get it over with. So they're here wrapping stuff and moving it into their truck now. And then um, it'll be at my new apartment soon. 